Hello again. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the four most commonly used rests in music. Now, if you don't know what a rest is, it's just a symbol that represents silence in music. And silence in music is every bit as important as sound. So we have to tell a way, like a, a language, a series of symbols to tell us when to sing or start playing an instrument and when to stop. So this is the beginning of rhythm and the understanding of music as a language. In my previous video, where I talked about the four commonly used notes, and if you haven't seen it, go back and check it, um, we talked about the whole note, the half note, the quarter note, and the eighth note. In this video, we're gonna talk about the whole rest, half rest, quarter rest, and eighth rest. And then we're gonna put it all together and start understanding what that looks like in a row and being able to understand rhythm patterns better. So let's look at this little chart that I drew. Uh, at the top, you'll see that it has the word whole and then this symbol. So this is the symbol for a whole rest, which gets four counts, just like a whole note gets four counts. This is a half rest, which gets two counts. Again, two counts of silence. This little lightning bolt here is a quarter rest, which gets one count of silence. And then we have the eighth rest, which gets half of a count of silence. Now, it might be hard initially to understand just what the difference between all of them is and how to tell them apart from one another. So I have a couple of tricks for you. It just, when I was younger, it helped me remember what was what. So look at these two. These two look very similar to one another. The only difference is that one is flipped upside down. So the way I remind myself to tell them apart is that this one basically looks like a top hat and hat kind of sounds like half, maybe half hat. That's how I remember. Okay. Hat, half, half rest. Okay, hat rest, half rest. This helps a lot of my younger students and it helped me. So the other one here, the whole rest, you can also call it a full rest. You may have heard people call it a full note or a full rest. The other word for it is whole. So you could look at this and think to yourself, oh, it's full of something. So it's hanging off the line. I, I know it might seem like a stretch, but that helped me remember what it was. So a full or a whole rest is heavy. It's filled with something, so it's hanging off the line. This one looks like a top hat, hat, half. The next one, the quarter rest, I don't have a trick for it. It just looks like a little lightning bolt. Practice drawing them. They're kind of fun to draw. And then this one right here, the way I remember it, it's pretty funny. So the eighth rest, ironically, looks like a seven. So that's how I remember it's an eighth rest. Eighth rest looks like a seven. So there you have it. You learned your four notes. You've now learned your four rests. And in some upcoming videos, we're gonna put it all together and start creating rhythm in music. And you're gonna be so on top of it. You're gonna love it. And then after that, you're gonna see how much fun it is to start clapping and counting out loud. So I'll share some examples of that with you and get ready to have some fun learning music as a language.